What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off where we left off, we have captured the city of Konigsberg and we have smashed a hole in the northern flank of the Prussian and Austrian positions. And our next target is going to be the capture of Warsaw, which looks like it could be a incredibly bloody battle requiring lots of forces to be drawn in. So what I'm thinking is that I'd probably like to draw in almost every army on my western front. So I want to bring in these guys, these guys, these guys, and these guys all in on the attack on the city, which looks like it could be a bloodbath, which will require the recruitment of significant reinforcement um, from as many cities as possible. So right now that's coming from Vilnius, also got another force here in Kiev that's going to be recruited in one turn. These two forces, like I said, are up here keeping an eye on the Swedish and uh, in place to attack them immediately if they provide or if they decide to do anything sneaky. But at the very least, we're getting religious unrest up through converting their population to Islam. Speaking of, let's check some of our other regions. Yet yeah, you weren't meant to leave Kazan. A few more turns till they're fully converted. I know they don't need to be fully converted, but I think it makes it quite clear cut then. Um, they've also got some, obviously, these three armies down here holding and keeping them occupied near Hungary. And you guys that were going to march around over to there, actually, you probably still are. To be fair, march on up to this reinforcing army. But yes, we need to. Uh, well, this force here needs to chill out massively. But I don't think they will. What if I destroy the... No, oh, no, industrialization won't help. And they're recruiting some Seminis. Uh, okay, but in general, our research is going on as you would, as you would expect. But yes, my, my goal... In this turn, sh in this episode, should there be no spanners in the works, is the capture of Warsaw, which will probably take nearly the full hour. It will be a significant undertaking. Ooh, don't want to intercept. So, you know when I talked about spanners in the works, right? The last time I auto resolved a battle like this, I lost a bunch of ships. So, I'm probably going to have to fight it, just in case. Ugh. Now I feel like a tit for to do this, and so the game just goes, no, screw you, middle finger. You're not going to do that. But at the very least, they've got lots of damaged ships, so should not be here for very long. Sometimes when you have overwhelming naval superiority, the auto resolves go your way. But as we have seen, um, very often they do not. So let's try and close the distance. What I'm probably going to do, to save time, is chop the recording here and bring you guys back when action has commenced. So, see you in a second, everyone. And here we go. The opening salvos shall be fired. So... Ice Vorgel is going to go hit Faithy, Faithy or Fatty, depending on how uh, diplomatic you want to be in your pronunciation. So let's pivot the, the, uh, the force to the right. To be honest, let's just get you into a uh, broadside fire in mood. Because you're probably going to be in the position to fire quite a devastating broadside uh, a lot sooner than you'd think. You better pivot because that guy's going to cut my formation. So, everyone else. Come on, pivot. Now you're going to separate and take out this fella. To be honest, you would have been better off just carrying on.
Oh well, it's not going to be a waste opportunity. We're still going to get a good broadside into Gepard. It's probably broadside. Broadside right as well, and you know what I'm thinking. Chain shot right. Chain shot left. There we go. Sail down. Let's keep my overall ship sailing in the right direction. This fella might have to move to make room. Well, to be honest, you may actually continue to move against this ship on your lonesome. No, actually, you're probably better off reading a broadside to pour into Gepard from the flank. I may even switch to a uh, speed times two. Nope, you're not going to get there in time. Ooh. Let's pivot you around. We've got guns to fire at. Jeppard. Although we're probably going to catch To be honest, these ships just sail on, focus on sailing into a new uh, line position. So I want the rest of these ships to sail to get ready to intercept these chaps. These two are probably enough to deal with... Uh, probably enough to deal with these guys, especially if this chap sails down the slot, just like um, Gepard did before us. Is he going to attempt to... I was wondering if he's going to attempt to board us. Yeah, you get to fire both your broadsides, Buster, but so do I. Mine are bigger than yours. Half health, bottom and bay's on fire. <laughs> System fire will off, because damn, you're actually on fire a lot. Engaging the head of the uh, the fifth rates that are coming in. They're also providing lots of fire into these guys as well, although they're quite low. Uh, Okay, drop your broadsword quick before they have a chance to escape. You're no longer on fire. Okay, the rest of their guns are firing against Storch. We start to pivot as well to support the engagement against these fourth rates. But as you pivot, you'll also engage Storch with your guns. Let's make sure we fire the remnants of this broadside into Storch to try and get it to surrender. The 
rest of my line a good full mast rather than slow down. So you definitely want to aim at stalks to try and make them rout. Okay, it's probably... surrender. Don't think she's going to let us. Let's take this third rate ship of the line. Get them down here to try and uh, gain some speed. Their baby fleets getting in range. Should pivot you to get some shots off Ice Bar. Fire your broadside now because you've got a good. Chain shot target. Dispatch to chase down Storch with all speed. Come on, pivot your guns. Jeppard is routing. All of you guys go more like that direction. Two ships wavering. Rolling fire from Favi. Shepard is routing. To be honest, you guys can do more something like that. Oh, they do not want to stick around, these chaps. They're routing, they're wavering, they're routing, they're wavering. Great progress against Storch. So let's speed this up a bit because right now it's becoming a bit of a, a bit of a chasing down exercise. Our third rate is definitely going to chase down Storch. So now it's all down to you, chaps. Checking and ch chasing down that last chip over there. Yeah, let's get you after them as well. She's probably going to try and flee to stay, stay out of range. Um, but if we can do enough damage to them, then they're ours. If I set you to do chain shot, will you do more to try and uh, put holes in the mast? Because that's the the crux of the matter, I think. It feels like when they're outing is that if you just set them to uh, chain shot, they do just... They get closer and they... Granted, well, they don't make the uh, initial... They don't make the most 
invigorating or dangerous hit with a broadside, but they do um, make the next broadside critical because they can't escape. Or at least not as easily. They can't escape. Okay, now you're at close range. Now start to round shot. Okay, now it's turn you to round shot as well. I can say, sturdy little swine, and it sank. There you go, everyone just surround and destroy fifth-rate ship of the line. There we go. That's the kind of overwhelming superiority I need. In. So, I'll take your fourth rates. So I think you have to click them all to know what they are. Don't want you, don't want you. Want, want, don't want, don't want. There they go. Down to the depths with ye. Oh, Spain. You're not going to get anywhere close to our gentlemen with yours. Oh, no. Oh, that's annoying. Although... All of them, all of them cavalry, cavalry are useless. I'm going to fight this. Just because I think my uh, waters are uh, good enough. Because we still do get the cannons. Ah. Didn't think about that. We're going to have to do... Uh... <laughs> I forgot about the breach. Maybe the... Uh... Maybe the attack would have been... It would have been better to water resolve it. Damn. Pity. Oh, especially as their men are actually on the other side. Quick lime. Fortunately, you can't target them. At least not significantly, if memory serves. That's what they need to do. Hit this unit of marines, if you can, before they get inside. Quick. Quick. Down to 27. That's the kind of ratios I'm talking about. Send them in. One. Got the general's bodyguard. Guard to core. They're a good target. The Barbary swordsman should cut their uh, guerrilla mercenaries into bits. Their general out here will provide morale bonuses, but that's about it. These guys are dangerous. 24 heavy cavalry are really good. So let's speed up time because I want to hope I want of these uh, I want these mortars to do good stuff against this cavalry. <laughs> no casualties. Yes. Cut them in half. There we go. Their heavy cavalry is good. 
but the mortars are enough. There they go. Phew. <laughs> Worried there for a minute. <laughs> but there we go. Oh, I might have actually. There we go. That little raiding unit is now destroyed. Yes, Garrison of Vilnius. I'm not quite sure where you guys want to go. I'll more than happily combine you into the greater Ottoman fleet. Ooh, bigger fleet. We'll say bigger fleet. They've got a couple of ships. Okay. We'll say Prussia. Prussia really doesn't want you to uh, see the war. That's all I can say. <laughs> okay, so brave fourth rate. Bravely turn your tail and flee. But these first rates that are part of the fleet that they have, I would like. Yeah, you get out of here. They will not get the chance to capture their trophy back. Um, but once again, I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back uh, when things start actually happening. So see you in a second, everyone. So I've brought you a bit back. I brought you back a bit just before uh, when the shells start flying. Just have actually have a look at their fleet. So most of it's just not stuff we're interested in. Fifth rate, brig of war, war galleon. Uh, the third rate we would like, but the goal, the 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 the, the thing we really want most, is wolf who is a heavy first rate, who is brand new and fresh. She is loaded with guns, so do not expect her to go without giving up, well, without trying to give us a fight. But then again, this is why we have such a large fleet out here. It's so that we can make these uh, sorts of actions happen. And there we go. They're all focusing on the third rate and it's their most valuable target. But right now this is the best thing to do but we do have so many guns to bring to bear that uh, we hopefully shouldn't lose ships in the capture of wolf the other next broadsides are coming in the morale effect on this fifth rate is oh sorry that's a fifth rate third rate's back here um but yes the morale impact is huge will probably not be entirely long before we start um, deploying broadsides. When I'm I'm okay with them focusing fire on the fifth rate because their uh, heavy first can't really fire either because of the fifth rate's presence. But now we may start prepping for broadsides, at least with our leading elements, against the heavy first rate. Because, yeah, she is going to uh, make us pay. Okay, first broadside. Everyone else, I'm content to have uh, firing at will. But this chap you yeah wolf is has taken objection to the broadside she's unleashed a broadside into my first rate good to bear in mind my strategy of usually putting my heavies up front has resulted in my leading elements being more damaged than the rest of my fleet. So lots of my seconds are actually just in perfect condition. Well, near perfect. Fortunately, this isn't going to be a very 
good broadside, but I'm going to fire now to try and get as few shots into that fifth rate as I can. Okay, let's make the back half of this fleet sail more like this. Because they've tried... They are attempting to manoeuvre their formation around. Ooh, another rolling broadside into Osman on fire. Start to hunker down or start firing broadsides specifically aimed at the heavy first, which will uh, take it out of you. But these guys, some of these ships can pivot and just begin opening fire with what they've got. So if you keep start firing. The Admiral's been killed. Their Admiral's been killed. Must have been on the brig. Okay, you ships continue to sail now, because it looks like the heavy first rate is starting to change position. like that is where I want you to be. At full sail. You need to get to full sail in order to get ahead of this ship before she gets out of formation quickly. These fellas can continue to fire and engage as they please, but you, in a slightly suicidal move, but you are fairly damaged anyway, wanting to try and put some chain shot into those masts. making good speed towards you, so I don't know if it's going to be a massive concern. I mean, you can broadside one into that fifth rate, just to slow her down. It especially looks like you're not going to get that opportunity. routing. Unfortunate, but looks like she's going to take. Oh, looks like there may be a chance for you yet. No, that's got to be round shot. But then again, the fifth rate's in the way. It's going to be chain to fire to enable to get shots over the fifth rate into the, the wolf, at least. Well, the chain shot did at least land some hits on the masts. And Hugin is paying for their betrayal. Pump a broadside into the side of Tiger. The 
you start to reload, you can fire a will into that little speck. Both these ships sail around. You can actually fire a chain shot. Oh, did I fire that by accident? No, I did not. So if I had these larger ships, what I really like to do is just try to turn them into uh, floating hulks. Close range chain shot's probably quite good for you. Broadsides don't really do much head on, in my opinion. Well, based on my what I've seen. Whereas chain shot, like that, will do nothing. But may hold the clue. Okay, you need to pivot. You need to try and slow. Good. Wolf has been slowed down. Main mast is gone. Rear mast is gone. Now's the time. So tiger's routing. Hipper's coming back. Let's make sure with a good old broadside she will uh, not return. Brave war galleon. Again, like last time, dispatch one of our thirds to chase her down. The heavy first has come to terms with the inevitable or is coming to terms with the inevitable. Being fired upon from all directions. You could actually be in range if you pivot. Maybe slightly. Yeah, there we go. Broughtsword from Hems is coming in. It is not for me. Fire broadside right. Wolf isn't giving up. No, let's fire that before I accidentally kill everyone. Galleon's probably going to get away. Must be pivot to try and uh, get him in range of some of our guns. He's probably going to make too much uh, good speed for us. is not letting go. She is still dangerous. I think I probably just can speed this up right now because there's not a lot we can do. There we go. Wolf has surrendered. We're going to continue, if nothing else, because I would like to try and stop this galleon from routing. You might have a shot. Everyone else has been captured. I could set them all to try and attack this war galleon, but I doubt it'll make a difference. But yeah, our bringing goes back when we have finished the battle. And we're back, and sadly we did not manage to catch the... Uh, catch the 
Gandalf, it always feels like whenever a ship leaves that sometimes things can get a bit dicey about the captured unit's status. So we want the heavy first and we want the third. We do not want the fifth. So the galleon has escaped, sadly. Oh, I'm going to auto that. Thankfully we didn't lose anything. Hopefully these, this guy doesn't make it in one shot either. Or as well. Right, auto is all that. We lost a ship, understandably. Because it was, was going to be sooner or later the ticker was against us, but I could not let their ships through, lest I um, allow them to blockade one of our trade ports, which I, I could not allow. There we go. The Prussians are moving more men into the area. They know where the hammer blow is going to happen. They know. They know what's coming. Um, and partially the reason why I ought to resolve those battles is I couldn't I could not fight another naval battle. <laughs> it's so hot on the heels. Especially just for a fifth rate. Go on, Morocco. Fight the Spanish or the Swedish. Cause some trouble. Mughal priests are on the march. What will they find? Not very much in the uh, short term, anyway. More than happy to take the pirates away. Across. Speaking of, actually. Yeah, I was just thinking about this fella. <laughs> I was just thinking. Like, wait a minute. Have I missed our fleet arriving? And I have. We're going to land and take Guyana. I mean, that's, that's an auto. It's repaired. Damn, we got a bunch of cash that turn. You guys replenish. Probably can leave immediately. Yes. Storm Dutch Guyana. So repair. Build the gold mine. Repair the port. Upgrade the plantation. Upgrade the roads. And let's get some more resource production. Then back over to Europe where we want to be. Probably start upgrading some of these ports that we've been reluctant to spend on because we've got so much money. Go on, let's make Greece a global trading company as we are. Operating out of that region. Same with you. Let's upgrade. Some bits and bobs. Let's upgrade. Ooh. Expensive upgrades. Let's upgrade one more. Because we do want to spend some money on our military. So these guys are done. March west. Corland is still angry with us, so these Nizam are going to march over and placate them. Upgrade the cloth mill. Upgrade this fella to a shipyard. And then, really, we should have saved some money for replenishment, but we don't really need a lot. Because we are going to march in. And this is going to be a huge battle. There may even be multiple phases to this battle. Although, would I like one more turn of replenishing? Because these guys are knocked out. They're not too far away. They can't get there within one turn. To be honest, I could launch a three-pronged attack from the south, I think. I think I can get in there. No, don't. Stop. So by marching through here, I didn't pre-I didn't pre-measure, quote unquote, if these guys could get in. So I was concerned I might have suddenly just sprinted one guy into the abyss and not been able to support him. They can get in there, but I want a bit more uh, support. Oh, I accidentally triggered the. Uh, 
forces. Yeah, no. Pull back. It's interesting to know, though, that an attack on these guys, they will call on these reinforcements. That is good to know. So let's push. Maybe I could fight them in a great field battle and then destroy them all outside of the city. Maybe. Salatov, you can get a craft workshop. Lots of good construction going down. That's probably part of the reason why we've got so much cash. I mean, granted, we're trading an absolute bucket load of resources. Uh, but we're really going to start getting benefits from tax. So how's our, our balance sheet is actually... Yeah, so even if we lost all of our trade, we'd still be earning 4,000-ish in tax. And I probably want to take this fleet well, take this fleet out, sit in the pass, you guys get into Greece, whatever money, whatever you can, whatever you can repair, repair. So we do have another fleet being built, that's just a damn galleons, I'm not going to chase after that. But I am going to hit and turn and see what happens so as our spies move up as our army relocates in Persia as troops move up let's see because my concern about attacking a city is it's easy to send to right click a unit in to attack a city but I think I might have to... Ooh, they've actually, we've actually been... Ooh. I mean, I'm kind of sacrificing these guys. If I fight this. Um, but we could do a, a huge amount of damage to them. And I think that's probably a good outcome. So this... Because so, ultimately you're going to have these Austrians coming in. And some of these guys, and then all of these Prussians coming in the, on the field at once. So it's going to be tough, but I could, with these quick climbing howitzers, I could do loads of damage. And then I do have a reinforcing army to back them up. So this is, I could do a huge amount of damage to the Warsaw garrison. So I think I am going to fight this, but in the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for potentially quite a pivotal battle on the Eastern Front. Cheers, everyone.